And welcome back to The Dawn Show. You're watching our mom bloggers as we have fun in social media and really um, moms tapping into one another and making these connections. Welcome back to The Dawn Show. Dawn Stens Lamenti here. My next guest, Linda Arceo, who's the creator of Giggles, Gobbles, and Gulps. And we are making some cocktails this morning. I love it. We sure are. Well, it's the self-medication of the holiday season, right? <laughs> well, no, ho no uh, holiday is complete without some fun spirits. So this is uh, definitely something that we want to make sure that you have the tools you need to get out there and make, whip up some good cocktails. So tell me, what, what's the first one you're going to show us? The first one we're going to do is more of a um, dessert martini. Okay. I like to call it the Christmas cookie swap. And it has three liqueurs in it, so it definitely pa uh, punches a, a little bit of a kick in it's it. It's a Christmas cookie with some pack and some power. It definitely power. has a little bit of power. <laughs> so it has uh, a Bailey's, a Kahlua, and a peppermint schnapps. So we are going okay. to get started on that. I already have it pre-portioned out. So was that a shot of? That was a Kahlua. shot of Bailey's, Bailey's right here. Okay. Um, and then we're going to have a shot of peppermint schnapps that I just put in. And okay. then we're going to do a shot of Kahlua. And that is over ice. We're going to get our handy little cocktail shaker. And we're going to shake that up. What you would normally shake like good. is to have um, a chilled martini glass. Okay. But we're going to go with you put it. You don't fancy. put anything on the rim or anything? No, we're going to drizzle okay. it with chocolate at the Ooh, end. Ooh, fabulous. So you and do you use a in. dark chocolate or a milk chocolate? or? Um, I did kind? a milk chocolate. Mm. Oh, it so smells good. That in. Yeah, it's definitely, it's really yummy. It smells chocolatey and festive and minty. You got the rest? So, I do. Okay, I'm you got your little strain the rest little in. Little strainer. Yep. Look how beautiful that pours. It's just like a nice, it's thick very texture. It's very creamy. It's a really nice dessert drink. You know, when you're serving out your desserts, this is definitely something. Now, how, what kind of chocolate would you use? What, where do you get that chocolate? Beautiful drizzle. Like Hershey's or? This one? Yeah. This is Hershey's. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that is the Christmas cookie. So that Yum. is really yummy. Okay. For the next one, we're going to do a pomegranate prosecco. So we're going to start off with a sugar cube and each of the champagne flutes. Okay. And would you chill those flutes? Is that something you um, no, have that's, chilled? No, the, the champagne will have been chilled, so okay. we don't have to worry about that too much. Keep that in the freezer. And Yeah, nice and cold. And we're going to add um, a shot of pomegranate liqueur into each. We are okay. going to top off with some Prosecco, which I just love. I am a Prosecco oh. girl. Ooh. No holiday is complete without a little that's spillage. That's right, a little spill. Thus, the red tablecloth is necessary, Hey, you know right? what? It was all part of my plan. <laughs> and the red dress that you wore. So any ho, 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 right? <laughs> okay, this so we're nice. pouring that in. That's beautiful. Isn't Look how that beautiful gorgeous? that gorgeous? And then we're going to throw in some pomegranate seeds because that's just healthy. Makes it, oh, yeah, they're, you know, they're an antioxidant, story. right? Yeah. We're going to throw those in. Oh, we got one that now, just jumped off the cliff. Now, are something that, are they chilled? Are they room temperature? The pomegranate seeds? Yeah. Um, I like to keep them room temperature. And then okay. we finish off with Ooh. a rosemary sprig just to kind of give it that holiday cheer look. This Ooh. is actually what I drank on Thanksgiving. Cheers. Oh, I'll take a sip with you. Nice. Let me sip this. Mmm. Oh, that's Isn't different. That's yummy. good. So yummy, as yummy. it um, as it you know incorporates, the sugar cube will dissolve. So it's definitely really good. It gets sweeter and sweeter as the drink progresses. Nice. All right. So our third one is a grapefruit and ginger spritz. We're rimming the grapefruit glass, and we're gonna. So good. Put that. Now this in. is a two-part series, Linda. So by the second show, I'll be a little. Oh, woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're rimming that in some coarse salt. We're adding some white rum. White and, rum? Yes. And this is grapefruit juice? And that's grapefruit juice. Um, typically, you know, these are really best served with fresh grapefruit juice, but okay. you fresh know. Fresh squeezed is yeah. preferable. Yeah. So in the magic of TV, I squeezed all of that. You're just all right. mom on the move <laughs> here. <laughs> and we're mixing that up. Got your ice bucket. I do. I'm throwing in some ice. This uh, drink is best in a nice tall Collins glass. We are going to I'll put that in front so you guys can see what we're doing here. We'll pour that on top. 
Nice. Look how festive that a looks. Perfect pour. And I like to add a fun little straw, perhaps. Where did you get that straw? That, oh, well, Target, of course. Oh, okay, Target. And, uh, or, or like a fun How little. How adorable is that? And it's really great to finish it with candied ginger, but that's sometimes a little bit hard to find, and I like to keep things simple and stress-free on holiday. So just quarter up a, a nice grapefruit and throw Pop it Pop it on top. Look how beautiful that looks. Festive and fun. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm supposed to top that with some ginger beer. Whoops. Ginger right, beer. There we go. Okay. No harm, Voila. no foul. There Voila. you go. This is awesome. Yeah, that one's really good. And this is one of my favorites. This is the a Christmas Stacker. This is a shooter. Uh, everybody thinks it's jello, and it's really not. It's layered liquor. So what we do is we start with some grenadine here. Okay. And then we have in some peppermint schnapps, which I'm going to pull in from the first segment over here. Okay. And then we're going to finish it with um, green cream de menthe. So layering is a little bit tricky. So the best way to do this, I'm going to step down. So okay. I already show you how, how they look when they're finished. And if you can get a close up, you can see the three colors. So the heaviest liquor is on the bottom and then the rest just layer on top. Okay. So the easiest way to do this is you start with your heaviest liquor on top. In this case, it's the grenadine. And then you nestle your spoon inside. All right, You've got the spoon, and, the spooning technique going yeah. on here, Linda. And um, you can free pour, but I think sometimes the bottle is a little bit heavy and makes it a little bit hard to keep the layering perfect. So I like to pre-portion it out. I use these fun little okay um, measuring cups, and and you slowly pour. This isn't something that you can rush. But as you see from the pouring, look at that. It's staying right on top because you're spooning you're such a it. pro. I am a so pro. So it's the spooning and the uh, and you just do it slowly. Very slow. That's why I already did a couple in it at a time just to keep it just to keep the TV segment moving. So then we finish with the peppermint schnapps, and I just right. spilled a little bit on and it. And as you finish, because we saw the finished project, we gotta we gotta move I we gotta you. move it along, Mama. So thank you so much. Thank These are just you. some great drinks. Uh, back to our mommy bloggers. If you wanna, if you wanna see what we're blogging or tweeting, we're having a lot of fun here, and we have much more for you as the Dawn Show continues. Be right back.